And here I'll start with a concept. Uh, the concept in which, or, or, or the, the concept which I got from the first verse from the beautiful recitation of the Quran that we listened to at the beginning. As-salam. Udkhuluha bi salamin aminin. Now, to what extent this term is related to wasatiyya and to unity? And how can we employ this in understanding better and opening further our vision to such a topic? We find in the Holy Quran verses in which Allah the Almighty is talking about as-salam, commanding Muslims to enroll themselves, to enter the gates of Silm and Salam. This is found in the verse, Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu udkhulu fi silmi kafa. In this verse, Allah the Almighty is calling upon all believers to enroll themselves into the gates of Silm. All of them, all together, kafa in all sorts, all elements that will lead to salam or silm. And the same concept also can be found in another verse in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قَدْ جَاءَكُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ نُورٌ وَكِتَابٌ مُّبِينٌ يَهْدِي بِهِ اللَّهُ مَنِ اتَّبَعَ رِضْوَانَهُ سُبُلَ السَّلَامِ وَيُخْرِجُهُمْ مِنَ الظُّلُمَاتِ إِلَى النُّورِ now we, are, we find here again that Allah the Almighty is clarifying to all believers that once they abide by the teachings found in what was revealed to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa of the Holy Quran and the Sunnah, then they are going to achieve peace. قَدْ جَاءَكُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ نُورٌ وَكِتَابٌ مُبِينٌ يَهْدِي بِهِ اللَّهُ مَنِ اتَّبَعَ رِضْوَانَهُ سُبُلَ السَّلَامِ وَيُخْرِجُهُمْ مِنَ الظُّلُمَاتِ إِلَى النُّورِ And according to many interpreters of the Holy Quran, if, Muslim, if Muslims today were to follow this instruction found in this particular verse, then they would be able to eliminate many of, the, of their disagreements and differences if they are going only to follow these two verses. What is the connection between a salam found in the first verse, Udkhulu fi silmi kafa, and the salam mentioned in the second verse, Qad jaakum min Allahi nurun wa kitabun yahdi bihi Allahu man ittaba'a ridwanahu subul as-salam. The connection is wasatiyya. That's my claim. The best definition for wasatiyya is the way which can enable its followers to reach peace in this life and in the hereafter. Because the concept of, sea, of peace itself is not a naive concept, it's not a, a concept that we can just understand superficially, but it needs a profound thought to understand that once we spread peace on this life, the inner peace that we, uh, of course, cannot achieve unless we have strong bonds with Allah the Almighty. And this cannot be achieved unless we, um, we practice the oneness of Allah in our lives, in our acts of worship that we directed towards Allah the Almighty and worship Him sincerely, which again will lead us in, in the conclusion to be kind with all people. This is peace. And the outer peace, which will definitely, by definition also, will, will lead to civilizational status that Muslims can encounter and then can spread for the rest of the world.